The components required for the correct assembly of the drop arm include adjustable spanner, the locking bolt, locking nut, male threaded adapter and female threaded adapter. Together these components make up the complete drop arm adapter. Next up, we have a copper float with a drop arm complete with a locking nut. These components make an assembled float with drop arm. A straight arm equilibrium valve is used in AG air gap applications, where there is no raised ball valve chamber. A drop arm float valve has the drop arm adapter screwed into the end of the straight arm, then the drop arm extends from this. The reason for this is to accommodate the distance between the water line and inlet height. A drop arm float valve is required when there is a raised chamber and or an AB air gap. The key difference, as pictured here, is the increased distance from the copper float to the center line of the float valve. Here we have the equilibrium float valve. The float valve is to be fitted to the tank wall or raised ball valve chamber wall as shown in the video. Remember to tighten with a suitably sized socket. Screw the female threaded adapter onto the end of the straight arm. Making sure the female adapter hole is horizontal. Tighten up the locking nut. Loosen the locking bolt on the male threaded adapter. Pass the thread through the hole and secure using the locking nut. Tightening the nut will ensure that the male adapter is kept in the correct orientation. Ensure the male fitted adapter is fitted on the right hand side with the hole vertical. If the adapter is fitted in the opposite way, an overflow condition could occur. Pass the assembled drop arm and float up through the hole on the adapter. Secure into place using the locking bolt. Ensure all connections are sufficiently tightened with the adjustable spanner. In the correct position, the drop arm is vertical and is the same distance to the side wall at the top and the bottom, as pictured here. In the incorrect position, the drop arm has a negative tuck. This installation would mean that when the water level rises, the copper float would be submerged, and the valve would remain in the open position, this would result in an overflow condition. Set the drop arm in the adapter until you have the required water level. The required water level will be approximately 50 mm below the bottom of the warning pipe. Always check that the setup works correctly by actually filling the tank to operating level. Fine adjustment will be necessary as the final water level is achieved. If you need any further assistance please call our technical team on 0121323 4000.